With so many Digimon used across the entire Digimon franchise, from the card game to the anime to the V-Pet, you wouldn't think there would be any room for Digimon to go unused. But surprisingly, there are many Digimon who were created, but then never used in the Digimon franchise. And on today's video, I'm gonna be counting down my top 10 Digimon who were never released. Hey, come on. Hey, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for subscribing, I do appreciate it. And without further ado, let's start the countdown of cancelled and unreleased Digimon. In at number 10, we have Santamon. This is one of many Digimon in the Apple Drive toy that has sounds but was never seen in the show or even given an official design. I will do a video in future talking about all these unused Apmon, but I just want to focus on Santamon for right now. I'm a big fan of Christmas themed designs, and while we do have Santa Agumon, who is literally just Agumon in a Santa hat, and some Digimon that have been made Christmassy through Digimon web art, we don't have an overt Christmas themed Digimon. It does make me wonder then what Santamon would look like. There's this concept concept art by fan artist Awkward Klutz, which I like. I also got my friend Riven to give it a go and I like her take on it. Feels a lot more like a rookie. However you might think it would look like, I think Digimon is long overdue a proper Christmas themed Digimon. So I live in hope of seeing Santamon one day. <laughs> Next up at number 9 is the unused Centaur Digimon from Digimon Frontier. I talked about this in more detail in my Digimon Frontier unused concepts video which you can click this card here to check out, but now we have access to a ton of unused concept art from the production of Digimon Frontier and this Centaur like Digimon is among them. Digimon design that was never used. It's a unicorn Centaur that resembles Kentorismon but with elements of the Pawn Chessmon line. I didn't consider it at the time but could this possibly be an early take on Night Chessmon which would go on to appear in Digimon Digimon Savers? It's possible, but unconfirmed, but either way, a really cool design I'd love to see gallop back into the franchise. In at number 8 is the 28 Star Gods, and these are fascinating to me. I'm currently researching and planning a video on Digimon Legendary Skies, which is a Chinese manhwa intended as a sequel to Digimon Frontier. I want to get the details as correct as I possibly can in that video, especially with there being language barrier issues, but I do just want to touch on the 28 Star Gods here. The 28 Star Gods are based on Chinese constellations, specifically the 28 Mansions. Very little is known about these 28 Star Gods other than six members. Moon Vixen of Hearts, Fire Tiger of Tail, Woody Wolf of Legs, Golden Dog of Bond, Monkey of Turtle Beak, and Earth Bat of Girl, and that partially they may have taken on an antagonistic nature similar to the Davers in Tamers. This would make even more sense when you consider that the four leaders of the 28 mansions are the Azure Dragon, Black Turtle, White Tiger, and Vermilion Bird, which of course you may recognize as aligning perfectly with the Harmonious Ones or Digimon Sovereigns, Azulongmon, Ibonwumon, Baihumon, and Zhuchaomon. Again, apart from that, we know very little about them as a group and what their goals and intentions would have been, but I just think the idea of a 28 Digimon group to go alongside the Royal Knights and the Olympos 12 is really exciting and I would have liked to have seen more from them. And at number 7 I'm going to be lumping a few Digimon together again because you can't stop me, I make the rules around here! <laughs> I want to give another shout out to Equestramon, Ganvivamon, Rurimon, and Piontomon, the Digimon who were created as rewards for the Digimon Adventure 20th Anniversary Crowdfunder. These are all based on supportive fan designs, and as I've said before, I just adore them and really hope they appear in games or V-Pets or something in the future. I'm also really excited to see what the final fifth design will be, as of time of recording it hasn't been released, although knowing my luck, it will get uploaded at some point between me saying this and editing it, or even worse, after I've already uploaded the video. <laughs> Next up at number 6 is Kaminarimon. This is a Digimon that is referenced as far back as Digimon World 1 on the PS1 and would have been achievable with the Electro Ring item. But it's also jokingly referenced by Junpei or JP in the Digimon Frontier audio drama, Things That Want To Be Told. It was believed for many years by many people that Kaminarimon had no official design, but actually it was under our nose the whole time. This is Kaminarimon. I've seen people indicate disappointment at this design, but it actually makes a ton of sense when you consider that in the real world, Kaminarimon literally Thundergate, is the entrance gate to Asakusa's famous Sensoji Temple in Japan, which of course has this giant lantern smack bang in the middle of it. This is why I love Kaminarimon so much, because even though it never actually appeared in official Digimon media, it was just hinted at the most it got was lip service in the audio drama, its design still has so much thought put into it and draws from multiple things, the spark of life, the Thundergate, and the lantern that hangs inside said Thundergate. I love play on words as well, so that's wonderful 
for me. It's something that I love about Digimon is that even the smallest, seemingly least important Digimon has a ton of thought behind it and love. Halfway point in at number 5 are the theoretical Armor Digivolutions from Armor Evolution to the Unknown, the Digimon Adventure 02 audio CD. Again, I've covered these in past videos, but I still think they're really interesting. The idea of the Adventure Digimon, obviously excluding Patamon and Gatamon, who did get Armor Evolution forms in 02, being able to Armor Digivolve is fascinating to me, and while these forms in the audio CD are ostensibly jokes, I still think you could work with that design and push forward. In the CD, Tentamon goes to Jiko Chumon, Palmon goes to Chia Girlmon, Gomamon goes to Urashimamon, Biomon goes to Kyukan Chomon, Gabamon goes to Kita Kitsunimon, and Agumon doesn't. <laughs> so while yes, these are jokes, I would love to see these designs realized. If you search any of their names into Google Images, there are a bunch of fan artists who have done wonderful visualizations of what they could be. I'm not going to put their art here without permission, but you can easily Google it yourself. And I am actually working with some artists right now to realize proper Armadige evolutions for the original adventure partners. Not necessarily these names, but yeah, look out for that video in the future when I finally get all six designed. I'm really excited for that. It just takes a lot of money and time because I want to pay the artist properly. In at number four is Technodramon, and this is the Digimon with perhaps the least amount of info we have on this list. It was one of the winners of the Digimon OC contest, which had been held in Japan for many years now. And unfortunately, all we have is this pixel art that the entrant Ryuhachi Kato made as his submission. But for me, this Digimon is interesting on name alone. I have a real love of Dragon Digimon, and I'm really fascinated by a technology-themed dragon to match alongside some of the more magical or militaristic-style dragons we have in Digimon like Agumon, Monodramon, and Commandramon. And I think that technology element is even more interesting in the modern day. A Digivolution line built around smartphones, tablets, things like that would be awesome. I mean, you could also go the other route with techno, meaning techno music, maybe? Like a DJ dragon would be very cool to me. But I could also envision it having like a visor and being sort of like future styled. In my head, I see it almost resembling the girls from Hypnos or the psychic stress fear from Final Fantasy X-2. I'm gonna make a Final Fantasy video soon and Digimon fans you gotta watch it alright? I love Final Fantasy and I know that video is gonna tank. <laughs> In at number three are the rookie and in training forms of Meikumon. Now look, me and Meikumon have a... Ooh, um difficult past, but I do actually like the design of Meikumon, I'm just not a big fan of how Meikumon and its partner was used in Digimon Tri, nor am I a big fan of its evolution line. But I do like these designs for its in-training and rookie form that was shown off in an app around the release of Digimon Tri in Japan, but they never actually appeared in Tri itself or in any other media. I actually really like that these cement Meikumon as a Gatomon variant of sorts, and I'm always down for more cat in-training Digimon Wanyamon and Nyaramon as some of my favorite in trainings. But what is especially crazy to me is that these Digimon don't even have names. They were obviously either planned very early on and just kind of forgotten about or thrown in at the last minute and just recolored Salomon and Yaramon. I can't actually think of decent names for them, what I would give them, but if you've got any ideas for the rookie and training forms of Meikumon, let me know down below what you would call them. My absolute favorite I will pin as the top comment on this video, so give me some ideas. I'm really excited to see what you think. All right, our penultimate entry at number two is Hermon or Halmon, Panimon, and Lycamon. This one is really interesting to me because of how transparent its creators were about them. Normally, we wait years to find out about unused Digimon, like in the case of the Frontier concept art, but in this case, they straight up told us about Halmon, Panimon, and Lycamon in the pages of the v Tamer manga, explaining that they were just cut for time. They were originally intended to be villainous general types created by Neo from Arcadimon's DNA being combined with other Digimon, just like Kalismon, who is a standout enemy to me in V-Tamer. All three of them look incredibly badass and intimidating. Hermon, or Halmon in particular, is my favorite. His skull dark magician vibe is one I heavily fuck with, but Lycamon and Panimon are also very cool with a lot of devil imagery, which the teenage metalhead in me loves. I think if at some point they do another V-Pet with a focus on, like, evil and dark Digimon, these three would be a fantastic inclusion, if only so we can see some proper modern art of them. <laughs> 
And in at number one is Hydemon. This is the intended villain of the cancelled US exclusive Digivice toy, the Digimon Force 3, which I talked about in this video, card on screen now. Shout outs to Arcane Fighter for this sketch of what they think Hydemon might look like, because it's very much what I've been thinking. I've always been a fan of more humanoid, cunning villain Digimon, like Myotismon and Lusamon. And obviously the name Hydemon indicates a Jekyll and Hyde nature to it. While obviously it wouldn't be conveyed very well in a little black and white LCD screen, I think there is still a ton of potential to the idea of Hydemon. Something like Arukenimon and Mummymon switching back and forth between human and more monstrous forms. Except maybe Jekyllmon could be a friend, an ally. I think that would be a really interesting dynamic. Rather than a good guy turning heel or a villain being redeemed, have Jekyllmon be a friend, an outright ally, who unfortunately due to a curse or his nature or whatever it may be, is forced to turn into Hydemon regularly and Hydemon is a villain, the two parts of himself eternally at war inside. You could even get to a really good point where there is an element of self-sacrifice where Jekyllmon gives up himself to partially weaken Hydemon for the final battle. But I'm probably thinking way too much about this, it was for a Digivice toy that got cancelled. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know, it could be a good idea for a villain in the anime in future. Anyway, that is my list of 10 cancelled Digimon that I wish had been released. Let me know your favourites down below or any other cancelled Digimon you know about that you think are really cool. As always, subscribing, commenting, liking helps a bunch. I'm going to be doing a PO Box video next week or later this week, so if you do want to send me stuff to my PO Box, you can. It's totally optional. I just have a few people that I know are interested in doing that. Send me whatever. It doesn't have to be good stuff. It can just be funny stuff. You can send stuff to Khan EX PO Box 223 Colwyn Bay LL290FW United Kingdom. And welcome to the end screen where I thank my YouTube members, including my Digi Destined level channel members, Crimson Dragon Slayer, Forest C, and Anthony Bontamassi, my Tamer level channel members, Mike McNulty, Theo Navarro, Reese Williams, Carlos Gonzalez, and Tippy, and everyone in the Khan Club. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time when we go to Joel.